Okay, so in this video, <coughs> we will uh, uh, realize or perform the axiom number two. Uh, so let me select the screen. So we have open uh, Fiji and we have the uh, axiom uh, file where we see all the images uh, <coughs> that we are uh, asked to uh, process. We will open image clay, the key in French, and image muscle disk. So we have these two images and we are going to look at their histogram. So histogram is located in analyze histogram. So we have here the uh, histogram of the, key, of the key image. And now we're going also to do the histogram of the second image. So in Imagi, the, <coughs> the, the process is being done on the last image on which you have clicked. So if you want to have the histogram of clay, uh, the BMP, you click on this uh, on this window and then you ask for the histogram. If you want the muscle, you click on this one and you ask for the histogram. Otherwise, you may be uh, confused. So let's see if we understand what we see in terms of histogram on these two images. <clears throat> on the left uh, side, we see that we have uh, gray levels, which are very... Uh, the, the image is not very well contrasted and somehow this fits with the fact that we have a minimum value which is not zero and a maximum value which is not 255. So this is the impression that the, uh, the image is not really well uh, contrasted. <clears throat> also, we have only one big uh, uh, we, we have a, 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 a one big object which corresponds to a one big pipe, a spike uh, in the histogram which will correspond to the largest surface, so seemingly the background and another smaller spike, which is this one, which looks like somehow it could be the, the, the key, uh, because uh, somehow the key looks darker than the, uh, the background. So it's logical that this small uh, one is, uh, this small peak in the histogram is a little bit uh, darker also, and with smaller value, uh, gray level values uh, here, and also a smaller amplitude because the object is much smaller in terms of surface than the background. The background. So uh, good. Uh, we have understood this. Also, the, 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 the this second spike is a little bit flattened compared to the uh, to the uh, background. The background is rather homogeneous, while the uh, object, the key is uh, rather uh, offer some scattering, uh, some uh, spurious uh, reflections, some darker side. So uh, all in all, this is something which is not a uniform uh, gray level. So we understand, we see that we understand only with this histogram uh, and something about the global content without exactly knowing where it is. Because when we look at the histogram, we don't know at all where the object is located in the image. We only know about the uh, distribution of the gray level in the image. Now, if we move to the muscle, uh, so we close this one or move it a little bit this way. If we move to the muscle part, uh, what do we see here? We see that we have three pi, uh, three uh, modes, we say in the histogram, or three uh, spikes or three maximums. One here in the rather uh, low uh, gray level value. So the good thing in, in this image is that we have access to the gray level. So it says something about 53, about something about 50. And we see that it seems, it looks indeed like it corresponds to the gray level in these dark cells. Then we have another much larger, much flattened um, uh, gray level. Uh, and higher gray level uh, mode in the histogram. And this is located around 170. And this could be, yes, the uh, gray level, the, this uh, uh, much uh, gray or lighter uh, cells. And then we have a last spike, a uh, last mode in the histogram, which is uh, very uh, bright. And it could correspond to the intercellular uh, tissue that we have in this image. You see, again, <coughs> in this image, the histograms enable to understand the global content of the uh, image. So we are going to uh, enhance a bit the, the, the contrast in these uh, images. So let's start with the, uh, the 
key uh, image. So for this, we are uh, 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 advised to go to process and then enhance contrast and then to ask for a normalization. There is an option to allow some uh, saturation, meaning that uh, some of the higher level gray levels, we are okay to lose them uh, on, if it's only correspond to this percentage. I want to do some scientific um, uh, visualization. I don't want to lose any information, so I put 0% here. Yeah, I don't want to lose any pixel to be saturated. So I say okay for this, and yoohoo, this is the image uh, here. And now if we ask for the histogram again, analyze histogram, you will see by comparison with the original one that now the minimum value is zero, the maximum value is 255. Normalization is just stretching of the histogram, and now we have a much better visualization of the object. Let's do it also uh, with the uh, image uh, of the muscle part. So uh, be aware that if, for instance, uh, you do, uh, you may have a, a, an error or seemingly no effect if you if you click on the histogram and you ask for process um, enhance uh, contrast here, you will have no effect because actually, if you click on the histogram window the software will process this image and this image is already normalized because it already has 0 and 255 it's a binary image this is the histogram or the image of the histogram so if you uh, so you, this is a classical error but there is no uh, bug or error which is uh, highlighted to the user it's just like make it no nothing happened well, actually it it did it on the um, is, uh, window of histogram which is not what you want so again Click on the uh, image you are interested in, and then process an enhanced contrast here again. Ah, we have a, a small increase, uh, maybe less impressive than on the key, uh, and we ask for uh, histogram again. And now, okay, no, uh, maybe not in the key. Analyze histogram. Oh, what happened? Contrast, normalize, and now when I do histogram, I should have something between 0 and 255, so I don't know exactly why I have this quite uh, surprising to me. 255. Yeah. Well, I don't really understand the, the situation, but let's say uh, it's a bug indeed in the in the software. Uh, so we have explained uh, we have explained uh, what uh, at least we have explained the, the shape of the histogram and enhance it a bit, uh, especially visible on the. Uh, 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 key uh, image and there was one question about um, focusing on histogram of muscle how can we decide which muscular fibers are denser uh, uh, which one is, corresponds to the higher uh, higher uh, higher density in the image so actually it's difficult to say this because we have seen that actually the uh, dark, uh, let's say, uh, red uh, cells were giving very sharp and high um, uh, mode in the histogram, while the uh, gray uh, white uh, cells uh, were uh, something much wider, but also um, uh, flattened, but, but uh, and also flattened. And so with lower intensity, so it's difficult because it's difficult to figure out only with your human eye uh, if the uh, integral, so the summation of everything which is below this is higher or uh, smaller than everything which is located inside this spiky stuff. So difficult to, to answer here and we will see that after thresholding everything will be made uh, uh, easier to quantify and this will happen in the next and then, 
So this is it for this uh, Amazon number two. We will uh, see maybe in the discussion if you had the same bug as, uh, as I did here. I uh, don't want to, to spend too much time redoing uh, it. But so let's discuss this uh, online. See you next time.